You ever survived 100 days in an amplified world? Of course, Kane, that's how I spend my weekends. Well, let me tell you, me and the boys got up to a little bit of amplified hardcore 100 days. Let me show you how we took an area that looked like this and made it into one that looked like this. Hey, but that's all I gotta show you. Enjoy the video, put up your stinky toes, grab a snack, subscribe, and enjoy how we spent a hundred days killing the Ender Dragon and surviving making this base. Oh yeah, it'd also be really cool if you could follow me on Twitch. Kane's Ace on Twitch, boys, you know what it is, man. You know, it's a link in description and pinned comment. See ya. Hundred right, days. Hundred days. Hundred days. Hundred days. days. Oh my God, again. It's Hey, look at these lovely cliffs, though, boys, huh? Let me tell you, gentlemen, I work fast. I'm at your door next day like Amazon Prime. And you know why? Because I'm straight for that wood, quick as a flash. And with this wood, I do what any other man would do and get some good hard tools. Boy, you know, your boy had to make some beautiful wooden tools with that as well. And then we find a ruined pool. Now, not much to gain here, really. Just a couple of gold axes. You know, I could... Dice up a couple homies on the street if I want to. I, I don't know. I might. I'll think about it. But hey, don't worry about that. We then find a spawner just wedged into the side of the cliff. Like somebody got one and just went, you know what? I really don't want this. And slammed it into a cliff. So we went in there, broke the spawner, got that good, good loot, flipped open the chest. <laughs> Sucked it all up and then that was day one boys and girls. If you're trying to learn what the fellas are like, trust me on day six You're gonna find out a little bit about everybody. I promise. Day two I did what any sane man would do and me and the boys went looking for a location to start our build We needed a base of operations fellas where you know some deep dark dirty things could go down So we found this pair of cliffs and dug into the tip of one. Oh and boys it only got spicier from there <sighs> Pull out the peppers, cause it's getting a little spicy in here. So as any man with the right amount of chromosomes would do, we decided to make a mine so we could go get some iron and be ready for any threats which may come round the corner at any which way moment at any time at all. On day four, Acer turned to me and he said, you know what, bit of a draft in here, a little bit cold, bit of wind, a little bit of wind. I said, well mate, that probably cause we don't have any windows. And he was like, well, we should probably get some windows. And I turned to him, slapped him with one hand, and said, yes, that's a good idea with the other in sign language. So then we had to go to the Amplified Desert. <sighs> kind of cringe you haven't subscribed yet, you know? Considering only 5% of people are, that's kind of weird. It's weird. So we had to take a trip down to the Amplified Desert. Now this, this is going to blow your mind, but it looks like a desert amplified. I mean, it's just cliffs made of sand. But it's pretty cool, and we get our sand, and we move on back home and start cooking up some windows. But also, we go on the hunt for sheep so we can make a bed, because we've had to just survive some, some rough night times. Uh, and I'm not a fan of phantoms, so we won't be dealing with that, let me assure you, in this 100 days. I had a sheep if I ever seen one. So we actually get some wool, made up some beds. Day 5 wasn't too wacky, wavy, and inflatable. What we had to do was make stairs that went all the way down the mine. And considering we're up at like the 200, going all the way down to Y20 is, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a task. So some stairs really help along the way. We also lit it with some torches that went all the way down the mine. Now please, somebody in the audience tell me, what is the most important thing to build when you're in a hardcore survival? Farm? No, 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 no. Perhaps, uh, you know, some safety, you know, in case you fall off the cliff. No, 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 no. It's a bedroom. So that's what we did on day six. Hey, look at this. We've all got a bed and we all have a chest and they're labeled appropriately. Well, except some of them, but I sorted that out pretty quick. So I think I've managed to uh, fix these signs. So here we have uh, my, my sign now. Yeah, that's much better. I, I think uh, that's a little better than that. Uh, and uh, there's, uh, there's Robin's sign. I think that also really... It you know, really shows the kind of man he is. And the uh, the parallel differences between us. See, now I had a place to bring the ladies. I had to go and look the part to pick them up. So I went properly mining for day seven to eight and got some iron stuff, a little bit of gold, a little bit of coal. You know how it is. You know what's down a mine, don't you? Don't you? Surely you do. And you know what's even better? Got some diamonds dude and we love to see it dylan quite like the little sheep he is let me come and collect them because he was just searching for them with his stone pick so we can pick them up but me you know alpha chad kane i uh i took him off his hand 
Hey, my dear boy, it's bloody day nine. And you know what we have to do on day nine? We have to build a bridge straight from our front door to the neighboring cliff so we have more land to start building on. Let me tell you, sweat dripping, toes bleeding, because on day 10, we spent that day finishing this bridge. It was just going to be a normal bridge, and then Robin and Asa, they had to be like, eh, I want it to look nice. Like, why, why does anything have to look nice? We're surviving. This is every man for himself. But regardless, you know, we did finish it, and here's the bridge. Uh, pretty good. It looks good with my shaders on. Let me tell you one of the best things you can build in a survival, and I'm sure you already know it. Take a guess. Three, two, one. It's a mob grinder, baby. So that's what we did from day 11 to day 12. I got Dylan, my main man, to grind it up, whip it up, scoop it, cream it, lick it, and slap it down straight into the side of this cliff. It doesn't really blend very well. I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe it'll look like it's part of the cliff. It doesn't right now, but we'll sort that later on. You'll see. And here you can see this beautiful mob grinder putting in work. So now we have easy gunpowder, easy XP, I don't know, easy bones. Day 13. And you know what they say about that? It's the day of spruce. So for this, we had to travel mountaintops, dude. We had to surf down hills. We had to risk our lives for a little bit of spruce because I'm sick of the oak. The best wood is spruce. Fight me on it. So we went to find a spruce, snowy tundra, icicle, shemicicle kind of biome. And we did manage to get some spruce, a couple of spruce saplings, and we brought them back to the bay. We then, on day 14, built this kind of a uh, bridge area that went across the mountain and is going to lead to where I plan to build a farm. And you've got to stick around for this farm, man, because it is something of dreams. Robin also started working on where he planned to put his first house. Yeah, you heard me first. He's going to have more. And he made these stairs that went up this cliff. It looks like kind of scaffolding kind of thing. I don't really know what's going up there at the moment, but uh, I'm sure, knowing Robin, it's going to be a top quality build. We then started our first big, fat, juicy knockers of a build. We made a farm inside one of the mountains. Now, this was quite the fat process. You can see here I'm digging out the first area. I then made two staircases that went down combined in the middle. Pretty smart, pretty smart. Then I was like, wow, I ain't got a lot of space. So what I had to do was go up like levels, man. This is like apartments for crops and animals. And you can see it all getting constructed here. Everybody came together to sort this one out. This took from day 15 to day 23. And here's the finished product. You can see on the bottom, we got some beautiful little animals living their best life, free range or organic. Or the other ones that you don't really want to talk about because that's basically animal abuse. And then we have our crops at the top. So at any time you can slip in, slip out. And easy animals. We didn't have to break a hole in the side of the mountain to lead them in. But uh, hey, whatever. At least it works. I then also blended all the walls and the floors. And I made a little path from the mob grinder. You can walk straight into the farm from there. We're just farming up everything, mate. It's, it's capitalism at its finest. Oh yeah, we also had to go to a village to get the crops you saw planted. And I think villages on Amplified Worlds look pretty sick. I, look, it's like climbing up the mountain. These villagers must have the biceps of Zeus to get to bed. I don't know. On day 24, Asa built these beautiful little bridges and paths to areas where we plan to build more little houses. You know, a little village kind of deal. Some uh, little rooms, you know, where we'll put our enchantment room down the line. And the boys just chipped in with a couple resources here and there. While Ace was building, he realized, damn, there's a big fat black mass in the sky casting shadows all over where he wanted to build on. Now, this isn't the kind of shadow you can just chuck some torches down because it is being created by like a giant meteor in the sky. So what we had to do was spend day 25 to 28 getting some TNT from, you know, all the gunpowder from the mob grinder and going to get a little bit more sand. And we made like... 30 TNT and blew up the center of this like crater in the sky and then excavated the rest of it so we didn't have a fat shadow across the whole land. There's a nice empty space there now. Oh hey, well, fucking make a run for it, big man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Day 29 to 30, I got my man Dylan to make a sugarcane farm. We put this down in the farm area with the rest of the crops, and this was automatic, my friend, so sugarcane for days is on the way. On day 31, I got my man Robin to make an enchantment room. He works with the speed of the flash, with some absolutely beautiful designs, I'm sure you'll agree. Day 32 to 33, I got Acer and Robin again 
working hard on a portal room down you know down these ladders across these bridges and look at this beautiful water some stone a couple of torches around and you wouldn't believe it but yes yes a nether portal now having an enchantment table and a nether portal it was time to gear up and get ready to go so on day 34 i enchanted my gear got a little bit of food and we were getting ready to go to the nether oh it's a big moment boys it's day 35 to 40 that we spent in the nether and listen if you've seen another 100 day videos i won't sweet talk and blah 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 it's your usual blaze rods and looting the fortress blaze powder got it easy killed a couple blazes they're done now get your chests bit of loot i got some diamonds in one so, you know, your boy's coming up in the world. And then I was desperate for a bastion. So I got all the fellas to go look for one with me. And, you know, like the good little boys they are, they all nodded along. And then they came along to find the bastion. So we break down the doors, killing pigs without remorse. I mean, it is just a slaughter fest in here. I, I can promise you that. And we go up and we grab all the stuff out of the chests and then we rob them of every single piece of gold they have so if they're trying to think about paying taxes they better think again and the irs is gonna be on their ass however we did trade a little bit of their gold back in the hope of getting some ender pearls but now nah, i guess 15 string will do so me being absolutely outraged at the fact they didn't get any ender pearls i said we're finding another bastion and so off we trotted to find another bastion and once we located another one there was a whole load of not much else going on to this one besides stealing their stuff and their gold again this time i thought you know what you're not getting your gold back and you can tell the other pigs if they want to see christmas then they better buck up their ideas anyway so they didn't like that too much and it rather pissed them off so we left the never uh you know in hopes of safety all right so you've seen the thumbnail and you saw that skull yeah that big happy chappy whose head we had hanging oh, that was a right proper job and this is day 41 to 42 that we spent constructing him out of pure quartz. And here you can see I had to tower up to see him. But uh, it's good, it's good, man. It, the design gets changed throughout the world, and you'll see that as you watch. But we just thought we needed something, you know, I iconic. But you're welcome to give him a name in the comments, because we couldn't think of a funny one. Day 43, we decided to make a blacksmith. Not because you need one to survive and it's super important, but we were just in a building mood after, you know, spending all that time in the nether. Thought we'd build a little something where we could put like anvils, smithing tables, grindstones, all that kind of stuff. And use some of the nether blocks, which we don't often build with. Day 44, we went to the jungle so we can have some more wood to play around with in the builds. Bit of a, a different palette, bit exquisite. When we arrived at the jungle, not too long after, we did find a jungle temple. The loot, terrible, but you know what? It was, the point is we found one, and we now have some jungle wood and saplings. From day 45 to 47, Asus starts and finishes his house. Yeah, you didn't expect there to be a house, did you? Yeah, you probably did, you probably, you, you probably did. But nevertheless, here it is. He's got a nice little fish tank down here. Puffer fish that we had to go scoop up in a bucket. Nice little uh, cliffside view. I also added some glowstone to the portal room so it has a bit more fancy lights now. You know me, I like a little bourgeois. You know, I, I, wrap, I wrap that Gucci. We also made a potions room just in the side of a cliff. Another one of the many buildings we plan to put along this kind of area. Look at these fine paintings. Leonardo da Vinci couldn't have even whipped these up. Did he even paint? I don't even know. Then from day 48 to 50, Dylan and Robin also started and finished their houses because they're right original. You know, they're just a bunch of clones, man. Just copying people. But they did knock up a house as well. And here's a nice little tour of Robin's house. Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. You know, nothing like what I would build. You know, I guess no one asked for my opinion. And here's Dylan's house. It's looking good. It's looking good again. No one asked for my opinion, but yeah, you know, you know. On day 51, I then decided, you know what I really need? It's a nightclub. So I started to terraform this, like, cliff that's up at, like, Y240 to give me some space. And on day 52, we're like, do you know what? Even though we got stairs, it is pretty damn difficult to get down to the mine. So you know what we did? We built a mine system. Yeah, a mine system in a mine. I'm talking railway, minecart, 
all the stuff, and then you can see me enjoying a pleasant ride down to the bottom of the mine. So I spent from day 53 to 58 making this nightclub. I tried to use some uh, sh shrooms, some shroom lights. You look at this big black carpet. I don't know. I, I had to dye all the sheep for this. Plenty of concrete, plenty of the works, dude. I got the whole look going on for a beautiful nightclub. And then you can see I have a stripper pole. I've got a bar. Uh, I got Robin to make a dance floor without some redstone. And you know what else? There's a toilet, baby. Day 59, there was an attempt made to blend the mob grinder into the side of the mountain. However, this was an absolute disaster, and we barely did anything. It now just looks like a big fat tumor. But you know what? There's been way too much building. It's time for a bit of amplified adventure. So on day 60 through 66, we set out for an adventure. Now, you can see the boys here are rocking diamond because they've been mining while I've been sweating my nutsack off like a real gamer while they were getting, you know, all the diamonds. So we find a dark wood forest and this is pretty slick and nasty because you know what? We didn't have no dark wood and dark wood's a pretty nice wood to use in builds. We then went into a desert and found a desert pyramid. And you know, we don't blow it up of course because I ain't no psychopath. But the loot, uh, it's, you know, it's here and there. But you know what's better than a pyramid? It's a village, baby. So we head over to a village, raid them of some crops, loot the chests, you know, I don't know, make death threats, blackmail, whatever you want to do, we were doing it. We then set out to the seas and came across a shipwreck. I went down, I got the treasure map, because I'm a dirty little loot goblin, mate, and I need the treasure chest. So we go to the buried treasure. Ah! Oh my god, look at these beautiful Yo, diamonds. Oh, two more Gold diamonds. emeralds, man. Oh, oh it's all so here. We then thought, you know what I could do with a bit of a chilly willy experience? So it was off to the icy cold snowy tundras where we found an igloo. Now, if you're a professional at Minecraft like me, you'd know when you go down an igloo, sometimes there is a villager zombie and you can cure it right then and there. Igloo. Uh, oh! Oh! Them. Oh! He's climbing up the ladder! He is climbing up the ladder! How did he get up the ladder? I don't know! He's bloody pissed! He's bloody pissed off! Lure him back down. I think I know what it was. So that, my friends, is what we attempted to do. Now, we let the zombie out because, I don't know, and giggles? Not sure. And the zombie ended up uh, coming up the ladder and then got sniped. There's a lot going on right now. Oh. In the process He's of being off. cured. So instead, we took the villager dangerous there, mate. and brought him all the way back to our base. Don't make any sudden fucking moves, mate. If you want to see Christmas, I suggest you do what we say. He nodded. He nodded. He's on. He's on. This is our man. He knows. He knows what we mean. Leaving us to have to build him a house from day 67 to 68. And we kind of splashed out for the man. We could have given him a dirt hut. But we thought, you know, maybe he'll give us some better trades if he's living in luxury. But boys and girls, that is not where the action ends. Because day 69 to 72, we go hunting for wither skulls in the nether. And we got all hands on deck. Every little snotty boy is in here. And they're all trying to get skulls. We got loot and swords. And we got determination. But it does take like an hour to get all of them because, you know, it's like, was it? 2% chance? I'm not even sure. So on day 73, it was time to kill that wither, baby. And let me tell you, I look, I know you've seen many videos where people kill the wither. There's no but. There's no but, really. Um, we just kill him. Thank you for the golden apples. It's time. It's time to serve my country. Let's go. Oh dear. It's not time to serve my country. Do you know what? I've always hated this country. It's, it's done nothing for me but help pay my taxes. Ow. I mean, we do it underground, you know, in, in a couple of different videos. We've done it in, you know, in a village, in the nether. We haven't done it in the end yet, so maybe that's next. I don't know. Stick around for 200 days. But there's a dead wither, and there, my friends, is a beautiful never star. And then from day 74 to 75, we made a little crystal for the beacon to blast up through the buttocks. And we decided to go for speed. I want a jump boost so I could jump over the fences. 
but I guess speed works too, so we can get around all these bits quick. But yeah, look at this. It's like a blue crystal thing. I don't know. Asa googled some design, and we kind of took some ideas from that. On day 76, I finally made diamond armor and enchanted it. Did I get these diamonds myself? No, I just stole them from the chest. But you know what? That's not what's important. The point is I now have diamond enchanted armor. But I gotta be honest, that's not enough for me. So day 77 to 80, I spent getting never right. Now, not full set, just uh, just a little bit for now. Just enough so I could get a chest plate. And here you can see, we're just bombing away, mate. You know, it's... I don't know, I had a lot of jokes in mind then. And I just think all of them would have got me cancelled. So we'll just move on and hit... there you go. There's the never right chest plate. On 81 to 82, Acer and Robin slapped up a couple of town houses, they said. And I went in and checked out a few of them. They're just kind of like cool little places with a certain theme. Like, this one's like a cartography it's meant to be. This one's someone else. I don't know. It's just like little, uh, I guess, villager houses if we ever populate this area with villagers. I spent from day 83 to 85 making a way to get up and down these huge ass cliffs. Because right now you have to dislocate like seven bones to get down. So I pulled the classic maneuver. You know how it is. Soul sand, kelp, boom, there's your way up. And just a, a hole with a blob of water at the bottom to get down. Now if somebody gets funny and takes that water, then... Well, you <coughs> mate, to be quite honest. For day 86, I decided it's time for a level 30 enchant. But first I have to disenchant my chest plate. And so I could re-enchant it. And to get this XP, I was sitting at the mob grinder for a bit. And then I got too lazy. Oh uh, you yeah, know, weirdly enough. It, it, it sounds kind of dumb. But then I went to the nether and just dug a bunch of quartz for the rest of my XP. And the enchants I got were not very good. But yeah, uh, the effort was there. From day 87 to 90, Acer was a little bit jealous of all the ancient debris. So just when you thought we were done with Neverite mining and bombing down there, oh, my friend, there's plenty more and you can see it here. We got like 13 in an hour, so not too bad, really. So I cooked it all up, gave him a bit, I made another piece. So you know what that meant, my boys. That means it's time for day 91 to travel to the end. Now getting there, getting the elytra and getting back to, to day 95, but let me tell you about it. We begin our travels and head all the way to the dungeon. We slam Dunkiss straight in there. Beep boop boop beep boop boop. Ah! 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 Do it! Here we go. That was a bit, that was a bit weird. <laughs> And don't even look around, breathe the air, piss on the floor. We don't even do it. We just light the portal and we jump straight in. And so it is time for an Ender Dragon battle. And once again, as I've said many a time, you've seen these before. Nothing special, really. But let me tell you what is happening. We destroy all the crystals. My shaders make it kind of hard to see where the dragon is and where the crystals are, so I had to rely on the fellows for this one. But once all the crystals are broken, it's just taking pot shots. Now, I'm using a crossbow because I just happened to get one some point earlier in the video. And I don't know, but crossbows are a lot harder to use than regular bows. They got a fat curve to them. But we wheeled his health down piece by piece. Smacked him when he came down. I finally managed to hit a couple shots when he was up. And then just before you can even say my mama's fat and ugly, I take the last shot. Shoot and him we like kill it's Detroit. The Let's go. go. So after sucking up all no, the XP, we Detroit, move huh? straight over to the NC. This one does have a boat with it containing an elytra. Now this is good because our land where we've been building is quite, there's a lot of levels to it. And it would be nice just to be able to fly where I want to go instead of taking these shit ladders. So I loot some of these chests, right? And I get these bending pickaxes. I don't know if I did. That's all I can remember, really. I might not have. You might have just been lied to. And I got a diamond chest plate that was good too, but you can't combine enchantments. So it, it's a little tricky. But I did get some good stuff from those chests. And then I went to the flying end of boat, grabbed the head and went down to the loot. Took the loot and you know what? I took the elytra as well. And then I'm just gliding straight back home. What I just seen this sign and this door, right? And I go in. I'm like, okay, we got some plants. You didn't see anything, my guy. I saw plenty. At... You, you know, I didn't. I didn't. I I didn't see anything. I'm about ready to back out, man. I'm I'm done with that. I'm done.
So now it's day 96 and we make a trophy room. We make one every time. It's just kind of tradition around these parts to make a trophy room. We realize we don't really have a lot of trophies to put down, so we just put an ender chest here. And it's just a small little room in the cliff, but we felt it had to be done. On day 97, I decided to do some more level 30 enchants because I had all this XP. And I just got scammed, dude. It's nothing but a pure scam around here. It's like phone calls from India, mate. It's nothing but a scam. And Acer started working on a steampunk themed balloon. And now this was finished on day 98. I don't think it looks that steampunk, but let us know what you think in the comments below. Does this meet that kind of aesthetic art style theme look? On day 99, I did combine my picks, so I've just confirmed for myself through the notes I wrote that yes, I did get a good pick. So now my pick is kind of cracked. Oh, gentlemen, I bring you all here today for a nice cold brew. Please, one for you, sir. Oh, one for you. Is this one for you? McDonald's uh, Sprite? Oh, yeah. You have to have a. Thank you. Nah, I get it. And, boys, that brings us to day 100, and we do what you would do on day 100, and that is nothing but have a cold brew with the boys, celebrate what we'd built, how far we'd come. We had a good sip, good chug. And fellas, that is bringing us to the end of the video. I mean, take a look at the area. I think this is one of our best yet. It's got a good vibe, good feel. I think we took advantage of the terrain. But boys, that is going to do it for this video. If you've enjoyed, drop a like, dude. And drop your nuts on that subscribe button, my boy. Because we need every man we can in the force. Hey, and notifications if you want, just so you know exactly when I upload and you don't miss one. And uh, boys, as per usual, you know what it is, man. Please have yourselves a damn good one. Young Cudge, the boy with no boss, but I've been doing so good so far. She's so fine, but she got no car, so I'll just make the drive, but it's so far. Subpar like PGA, but still hot like the moms in PTA. She want an easy day, I'm in. See the way I've been acting differently, PTA. So tell me why, 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 why I do these things for you. So tell me why, so tell me why.